Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to read you a story called Hurry Santa. And we need him to hurry. It was Christmas Eve and Santa's busiest time of the year. He snored from under his quilt. Wake up, squeaked Santa's little mouse, tugging at his beard. Hurry, Santa, you shouldn't be late tonight. Ouch, cried Santa, sitting up and rubbing his chin. Oh, goodness, is it that time? My alarm clock didn't go off and I've overslept. Not a good thing. Santa leaped out of bed and began to pull on his clothes. He was in such a hurry that he put both feet down one pants leg and fell flat on his face. Oh, poor Santa. Hurry, Santa, meowed his cat. You shouldn't be late tonight. No, I shouldn't, agreed Santa, struggling up. I shouldn't be late, delivering the presents. When he was dressed, Santa hurried outside to his sleigh. He picked up the harness and tried to put it on his reindeer. But the reindeer weren't there. Oh, no, cried Santa. Where have they gone? The reindeer are loose in the woods. You'd better catch him before they wander away, called Fox. Hurry, Santa. You shouldn't be late tonight. No, I shouldn't, agreed Santa, running toward the trees. So there goes Santa and the fox. Well, deep in the woods, the reindeer were having a snowball fight. Ah, cried Santa loudly as a snowball hit him in the face. Look at the snowballs flying all over. Do you like to have snowball fights? Yeah. yeah. Hurry, Santa, hoot an owl. You don't have time to play in the snow. You shouldn't be late tonight. I wasn't playing, said Santa indignantly. Come on, you silly reindeer. We've got work to do. At last, Santa was ready to leave. With the crack of his whip and a jingle of bells, he steered the sleigh toward the moon. Go, reindeer, go, he shouted. We can't be late tonight. Around the world they flew, delivering presents to every child. Down again, called Santa, turning the sleigh toward a farm. Hurry, Santa, answered the reindeer. We're miles from everywhere, anywhere, and the night's nearly over. Well, I'm doing my best, said Santa, licking the reins. Before Santa could stop them, the reindeer went faster. Whoa, Santa cried, but it was too late. Landing with a bump, the sleigh skidded crazily across the snow. Oh, dear, cried Santa in alarm. Crash, the sleigh stopped in a ditch. Santa scrambled to his feet and rubbed his bruised bottom. Well, nothing broken, he boomed. But we must hurry. They still have a lot to do. When the reindeer had untangled themselves, everyone tried to dig out the sleigh. They tugged and they pulled and they pushed as hard as they could. But the sleigh was completely stuck. It's no good, wailed the reindeer. We can't move the sleigh on our own. We must keep trying, said Santa. The sky is getting lighter, and we're running out of time. Just then, a loud neigh made Santa jump in surprise. Trotting toward him was a very large horse. Look at him. Wow. Hurry, Santa, she neighed. You still have presents to deliver. I'll help you move your sleigh. Everyone pulled together, even Santa's little mouse. But it was no good. The sleigh was stuck. Hurry, Santa, called the rooster from the gate. You must be quick. It's nearly morning. I am trying to hurry, puffed Santa. I have to deliver the last of the presents on time. Then, suddenly, the sleigh began to move. 
and Santa shot backwards, cheering loudly. Hurry, Santa, called all the animals. The sun's rising. You have to be on your way before the children wake up. Yes, agreed Santa. It's nearly Christmas Day. You better hurry. Oh, guess what? It was a close call, but by dawn, Santa had managed to deliver every present. Oh, we did it, yawned Santa. I wasn't... Well, Santa stopped talking and stared at his sack in dismay. At the very bottom, there was still one present left. Oh, no. Oh, no. How awful. I've forgotten someone, he said. Then Santa noticed that the animals were laughing. That present is for you. It's from all of us, said the reindeer. Hurry, Santa, added Santa's little mouse. Open your present. It's Christmas Day. Oh, yes, I will, chuckled Santa. Now I wonder what it is. It was a new alarm clock, so he wouldn't sneak in anymore. The end. Did you?